Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad that you're here. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. Yes, come up, Mark, come up, Tiffany, Christian, Claire, come on up, all of you. So good. Today we're going to talk about an animal that God created that lives in Africa and in Northeast Africa, in Central Asia, India, and China. And we've talked about three of the big cat family of four that um, you can probably remember. We talked about the lion, we've talked about the tiger, and we've talked about the cheetah. But we have not talked about this particular big cat. And he's a member of the big cat family. He is the most powerful and strong of all the animals. He is light colored, dark spots, and they're called, these dark spots are called rosettes because they look like a rose. Does anybody, Mark, that's great. Mark, that's so good. It is a leopard. Today we're going to talk about God's creature, the leopard. And you'll see on the screen that magnificent magnificent animal with greenish eyes and that kind of light colored background fur with the rosettes, the black rosettes uh, and that you see on their bodies. It, this cat weighs between 68 and 175 pounds. It's a carnivore and it me eats meat only. It is about four and a quarter feet long to six and a quarter feet long. And it has a tail that is additional, which is three and a half feet to four and a half feet. It is a very strong swimmer. It enjoys the water. Leopards love the water. And they give birth any time during the year, usually to two to six cubs. And they stay with the mom for um, probably up to two years. And their, their spots are bar just barely visible. They're grayish in color with barely visible spots. I brought a, pic a coloring picture today of the leopard. And you can see him. He is beautiful. He has, make sure to color his eyes green because they're green or green gold every single time. And the black nose, the light colored background, huge, huge, powerful paws, a white tip and white in the back of the ears. And he sprawled out in this tree. And they are just so powerful. They're a very, very powerful animal. Leopards take their cubs from place to place where it's safe. They may be worried that this is not a safe place, so they will move their cubs from place to place. And they have just the most fantastically beautiful, huge, huge, big, greenish gold eyes. Um, black leopards have spots that are hard to see. They have the same prints as those that are light colored, but they are much harder to see. They're called black panthers. They're astonishingly strong. They're pound for pound. They're the strongest of the big cat family. Leopards are great climbers. They spend much of their time sprawling in trees, just like you can see this one sprawling out. And they live 12 to 17 years in the wild and up to 25 years in captivity. I'm going to talk about um, today another, how we tell cheetahs and leopards apart. Now, these are two pieces of fruit. This is an apple and an orange. They're both fruit, right? And they both grow on trees, but they are so different, right? They are so very different. And that's how we're going to talk about cheetahs and leopards because they're both spotted. Um, leopards have much broader faces, bigger, broader faces than cheetahs. 
and they don't have that tear mark. Remember that tear mark that went down on the cheetah's face? And they have white eye line, outline of their eyes that acts like um, vis night vision goggles or something. They're nocturnal. Leopards are nocturnal. That means they hunt at night. And cheetahs hunt in the daytime. There's, they have those spots which form rosettes. And they have dark brown in the background of their clusters of black. And so beautiful. They have retractable claws, just like a house cat does. And their tails are much longer than cheetah's tails are. Cheetahs run faster than leopards. So leopards are and cheetahs are as different as they are similar. They're, they're similar in that they're both from the big cat family, have big paws and everything, except that the leopard is a much more powerful animal. So leopards hunt from trees and cheetahs hunt from the ground. Those, that's another difference. Leopards can live without water for up to 10 days, 10 whole days. Wow. And they are fast runners. They can run up to 36 miles an hour. They can jump up to 20 feet. They can make a 20 foot jump and they can jump straight up 10 feet in the air. They have excellent eyesight, hearing, and sense of smell. Their hearing is five times that better than that of humans. That's really something. And they always have a white tail, white spot on the end of their tail, and white spots on the back of their ears. God made the leopard. He made them powerful and beautiful. And we are just amazed by the leopard. Today, I'd like to just pray for you children, and I'd like to pray for the leopards. So let's pray right now. Father in heaven, I thank you for your creation of the leopard. It is such a beautiful animal, Lord. Thank you for giving that animal to us to enjoy and to learn from. Lord, I pray for every one of the children. Thank you, God, for the children and what a blessing they are. Lord, bless each child that listens to this message today and each adult also. And I pray that in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being here today. It was fun. So glad you're here. Bye, see you next week.